installation configuration. So uh, let's get started. And I don't know if you know this button or not. Okay, so this Ubuntu logo. And this Ubuntu logo is uh, for you to enter your command. So let's click on it. And wherever you click on it, you will find a prompt for you to input the command that you want to launch. So uh, the first process installation is to update the installation program list. We have such a list, but it's hidden. And in order to update it, so I tap update, which is called update manager. So let's launch it. Okay, and you see the update manager. Remember one very important point is that don't click install update. You'll regret it. Okay, so uh, let me click check. Check is to download the current up-to-date list of software from Ubuntu server. So check. It should be fast, don't worry. Okay. So as you can see, it is uh, trying to download things from Hong Kong. Hong Kong repository, we call it. Oops, my system is not very good. Okay, so after this, we can close this update manager. Oh, sorry for that, my mouse become funny. Okay, so it's okay again. And what's next? Next, we are going to install Apache, this web server. So web server, you can find it out in a Ubuntu Software Center. Because we already have an updated list of software, so you should be able to look up by typing the name Apache 2. So here we go, Apache 2. Okay, so this is our target, called Apache 2, in store. And what's the password? Well, which is your login password? You are the default user, so you have to type in your default user password. Okay, so let's wait until this uh, progress thing is removed. Oops, I typed something wrong. Okay, so the postcard postcard bar showing some progress. Okay, so with a little green text here, we're finished. How to check if the installation is correct or not. Web server has to be contacted using web browser. So I'm going to launch this Firefox web browser. And I will also close this Ubuntu software center okay so come on oh it seems that it don't want to run so I run it through this way okay it's running you can see the color is changing okay you check it type the IP address is your own local storage, local hard disk, and it say it works great. Okay, so this is our first step in achieving the installation of a new web server. So what's next? Next is to configure the apart 
Oops, I typed into something wrong. Okay, alternate F2. No, I cannot type in. Okay, now I type alternate F2. I am free to run any command. And the command is called GKSU. Okay, space G edit. GKSU means I'm going to promote the G edit command into a higher privilege called administrator. So that's why I'm being asked for a password. It's not the administrator password, but our default password, our login password. So this little G edit will be promoted to our administrator rights and which is able to change this it works area okay this it works into other things okay so let me do that. something wrong with my things okay so uh, let me open a new file yeah I just type type a hot key so I know if you don't know what I'm doing so open I click open so go to the oh, not again. So the file system and the web is stored in the BAR we call VAR. 3 W. Oops. Come on, baby. Okay, so the index.html. Let's open it. Okay, so what are they? They are just a bunch of HTML code. So let's change this to not that. Okay, save it. Now don't close the gedit. Let's switch back here and tape below. See, it becomes not bad. So this is another configuration. So uh, we go back to gedit. Okay, come on. That's everything. Okay. So I change it back to the original look. It works. Save it. So I can close the title documents and also close the, the index. Okay. So another thing is uh, how to enable user account in a web browser. So uh, we don't have fancy things that help us. So all we only have is terminal command. Oops, what happened to my terminal? Okay, oh command again. Terminal. Oh, yeah. What happened? Okay, terminal. So the terminal command that I would like you to execute is to enable user account. And the user account has to be changed. I mean, uh, changing the Apache configuration. So I need to become an administrator. So this as you do, as you minus is to upgrade you, become a super user. So it's called as you. It prompt me for my password. No problem, I give you. So roots. There is a name called root. Root. So uh, it's the administrator. So we are in. We are the administrator now. So let's type in the command. Okay. So the command means Apache 2 enable module. And the module name is called user director. So uh, it's already hints you for the next command to 
activate the new configuration, you have to do some more command and it is to restore the server. Okay, so after restoring the server, everything should be fine. Okay, but we don't have a user account that contains the files to prove that the user account is usable. So uh, I will use my own user account. Oh, what's happened? Okay, my user account is my open this box. Remember, my account okay is only a normal account, but it is default user account, so I can become rich. I can become an administrator. So uh, what I need is to create a new folder. And the folder name is core floppy underscore HTML. Okay. What's next? Floppy underscore HTML. And here is the default starting point of all the user documents. So uh, let's create a new thing. The new thing is an empty document. And let's call it index.html. Okay, so don't double click it. Use test editor to change this. Okay, so because it's an empty document, you will find it empty, of course. So let's type in some HTML code. One. Hello, world. Ah, I need space. And then close the HTML. Okay, so far so good. Let's save it. Okay, go back to the browser. Now the browser now can access my user account. So my user account can be accessed with user ty1. Okay, the file name is for index.html. That's how it works. So as easy as that, uh, I can create my own HTML, put it in up, and Say for example, this is not a simple machine. This is a machine that is, has a physical body, which is also a Linux. That means that we are actually setting up a real server. So the VM, the virtual machine, is just a, for you to practice on the skills. Okay. So that's the end about the Apache setting. Thank you for watching.